with your one seed there, Mississippi State Bulldogs. All I know is that Starkville just went wild. There's probably a lot of cowbells ringing. I can almost hear it in my ear right now. Yep, the history makers were at it again Monday night. It's for the first time in program history, Mississippi State earned a number one seed in the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. The Bulldogs had to wait a while before the big reveal, half an hour on ESPN's selection show, but the wait was well worth it. As Bulldog fans crowded, crowded into the hump and celebrated upon seeing Mississippi State showcased as the number one seed in the Kansas City Regional. The Bulldogs will host Nichols on Saturday at Humphrey Coliseum. MSU, though, a bit surprised to see the 8-9 matchup due to the fact that they're familiar teams for state. If MSU does defeat Nichols, the Bulldogs will play the winner of Syracuse and Oklahoma State. Those are two teams they've already played this year, and they already defeated them back in December. But for Mississippi State, they're ecstatic to be playing at home and playing and have earned their spot in the big dance yet again. They've earned it, bottom line. They've earned the number one seed. Appreciate the committee uh, rewarding them with that, and now we got to go defend it. That's the bottom line. You're still going to get everybody's best game, best game plan, and you're going to go get some really good players. It's a great feeling knowing like our hard work is, you know, paying off, and we're the number one seed. So everybody's thinking, you know, highly of us and thinking that we could do big things. It's never been done here before, and I feel like we deserve it. And our teammates put us, we put ourselves in a position to be able to do something like this. So it was an amazing feeling. Playing in the hunt means everything. Our fans are awesome, and they're so loud. They give us so much energy, and we want to play so hard for them. And so um, just to have another opportunity, especially for me as a senior, is really special. I think the last game that we didn't show them how Mississippi State plays, and I feel like we have another chance to <laughs> basically show them how we really play and to let them know that we appreciate them so much. Here's the info for the women's basketball tournament starting in Mississippi State on Saturday. These games will be Saturday and Monday. MSU's game against Nichols will be the 5 p.m. tip-off time. The first game of the day will be Oklahoma State-Syracuse. Again, both of these games will be played in Starkville. Monday's game time is yet to be determined. If you want to watch the games, they should be shown regionally on ESPN2. And by the way, if you're looking for a ticket to get into the Starkville Regional, it was announced late Monday night that it is completely sold out. There are no tickets available, so you're either going to have to scalp or find someone who has tickets because it's going to be hard to find one and to break into Humphrey Coliseum for that Starkville Regional. Here's other notable information from the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Also in that Kansas City Regional, Texas got the two seed, UCLA the three seed, NC State the four seed, and Maryland the five seed. So those are some of the teams that MSU could be running into down the road if they continue to win. UConn, by no surprise, is the number one overall seed in the Albany Regional, but South Carolina is the two seed in the Albany Regional. So remember last year how everything was made how oh, Mississippi State would have it to go through UConn to get to the national championship. Well, yeah, South Carolina is going to have to get through UConn to go back to the national title of their own. And seven SEC teams in all made it into the field of 64. It is a tough and competitive field, no doubt. The other, by the way, the other number one seeds that made it in were Louisville and Notre Dame, but Mississippi.